but you take it and you put it next to the baby's nose. Right. And then you literally suck on this part and it like will. Wait, wait, will wait. This goes in your mouth? Yes. But this is. this. Are is, you sure about this? There's a filter right here. Uh-huh. And the little boogers <laughs> stay right down here, I okay. promise. So it's the suction that the parent like, yeah. you know, you suck the booger out of their nose. Oh, and lovely. I know it sounds gross. But it's you totally are, safe. You're really selling this new mom over no, here. No, look, is a booger ever going to go from here all the way well, down to I here? I hope not, no. especially if that ends in my mouth. No, but it works. Okay, it okay, was a new mom moment you know that's, that's, that's blazing like in, in my memory. That is our friend Corinne Stoko from the website Mid Arrow. She was introducing me to a modern day mommy must haves, and she totally caught me off guard with this manual nasal aspirator. She affectionately called it the snot sucker. Guess what? I totally use it. It totally works. Easy to see why it's a favorite in mom circles, but. I think I can do you one better. Knowing so many of you are feeling the full effect of cold season right now, that you're home with sick kids who have stuffy noses, we wanted to add a newer option to our Studio 5 Love List, which is of course a curated collection of our gotta get products and favorite finds. So when my own Emmy was little, she had a minor breathing condition called laryngomalacia. Totally common, but it did make us hyper aware to her airway and her breathing habits. So colds and congestion were tricky. And I know that's a huge concern for parents of young babies across the board, right? So a friend introduced me to the baby vac nasal aspirator. Now, your reaction will probably be similar to mine when I first heard about this. So it's a it's a plastic tube, and here's where the reaction comes in. You hook this end up to your house vacuum. Now don't panic, bear with me. There's a small opening at the end of the other side. We're talking teeny tiny opening, approximately one millimeter wide. That helps regulate the suction's intensity and the suction strength. And then the air, when it comes from your house vacuum, actually has to pass through three separate chambers or little plastic pockets, if you will. So that also regulates and slows down the suction strength to a safe level. Like if you were to test it on your hand or your skin, when it was plugged in, it would barely lift the skin off your hand. So it's a light suction, but it's enough to suck out, to vacuum out all of that congestion that's packed in those tiny noses. And I should say the tip is specifically designed so you can't stick it too far up those noses. You can't harm the baby in any way. We love it. We swear by it at my house. In fact, still being a little frightened, she's still a little frightened of the vacuum. Despite that, Emmy actually will ask for nose. She'll ask for the chance to blow her nose or clean her nose. And now, as you'll see, she insists on taking matters into her own hands. You want to do your nose? Do the other nose. Okay, like really she thinks it's an activity. Like it's a game. And yeah. I feel good knowing that her nose is clear. You can purchase one for about 20 bucks okay. on Amazon. It does come with a little uh, baby vac nasal cleaning brush there. I'll warn you, that part is gross. Cleaning this out, it kind of disassembles and you clean it part by part. Anyway, parenting rite of passage there, right? We're adding the baby vac nasal aspirator to our Studio 5 Loveless.